Have you ever wondered what makes a gemstone so valuable? Is it the vibrant colors, the dazzling shine, or perhaps the rarity of these natural treasures? For centuries, gemstones such as rubies, sapphires, and emeralds have held a special place in our hearts and our histories. Their value often linked to their natural origins and unique imperfections. But what if I told you that these precious stones could be created almost flawlessly in a laboratory? Yes, lab-grown gemstones are the new players in the game, offering less cracks, fewer contaminants, and the ability to customize size and color. They challenge the traditional notion that a gemstone's worth is solely based on its natural occurrence. Instead, these lab-grown marvels bring a whole new perspective on what we consider valuable and why. Intriguing, isn't it? Now, let's delve into the fascinating process of creating gemstones in a lab. The creation of lab-grown gemstones is a marvel of modern science. It's a process that perfectly blends the beauty of nature with the precision of technology. But how exactly does this process work? And how does it yield gems like rubies, sapphires and emeralds that rival and in some cases surpass their natural counterparts. Let's start by understanding what a gemstone really is. In the simplest terms, a gemstone is a mineral crystal that has been cut and polished for use in jewelry. These crystals form deep within the earth over millions of years as heat and pressure cause atoms to arrange themselves into repeating patterns. This process results in the formation of a wide array of gemstones, each with its own unique color, clarity, and carat weight. In a lab setting, scientists essentially replicate these natural conditions. They start with a small seed crystal of the gemstone they want to grow. This seed crystal is then subjected to high heat and pressure, just like it would be deep within the Earth's crust. Over time, the atoms in the seed crystal arrange themselves into a larger, repeating pattern, gradually forming a larger gemstone. This process is known as the high pressure, high temperature method, or HPHT for short. Another method used is the chemical vapor deposition, or CVD. In this method, a seed crystal is placed in a chamber which is then filled with a carbon-rich gas. The chamber is heated to extremely high temperatures, causing the gas to break down and the carbon atoms to adhere to the seed crystal. Over time, these carbon atoms form a crystal structure resulting in a lab-grown gemstone. These methods can be used to create a variety of gemstones, including rubies, sapphires, and emeralds. And the best part? The resulting gems are virtually indistinguishable from their natural counterparts. They have the same physical, chemical, and optical properties as natural gemstones. They can even be cut and polished in the same way. But there's more to lab-grown gemstones than just their appearance. Because they're created in a controlled environment, these gems often have fewer inclusions or imperfections than natural gemstones. They also have less environmental impact, as their creation doesn't involve mining or other destructive practices. Additionally, lab-grown gemstones offer a level of customization not possible with natural gems. Scientists can control the color and size of the gemstones they create, allowing for a wider range of options for jewelers and consumers. All of these factors combine to make lab-grown gemstones a fascinating and valuable addition to the world of jewelry. They represent a perfect marriage of nature's beauty and mankind's technological prowess. So we see that the lab-grown gemstones aren't just chunks of colored glass, but sophisticated products of cutting-edge technology. Why should one consider lab-grown gemstones? A question that's been making rounds in the gemstone industry and among enthusiasts. The answer lies in the numerous advantages that these lab-grown marvels offer. In the world of gemstones, perfection is a trait that's highly sought after. This perfection is often measured by the absence of imperfections or inclusions, the purity of the stone, and of course, the brilliance of color. When you think about natural gemstones, they're formed deep within the earth over millions of years, subjected to intense heat and pressure, and then mined, cut, and polished. This long and unpredictable process often leads to gemstones with flaws and inclusions, 
and sometimes the size and color may not be as desired. But enter the realm of lab-grown gemstones and you're in for a pleasant surprise. These stones are grown in controlled environments where scientists can manipulate factors like temperature, pressure, and time to create gemstones that are near perfect. They have fewer inclusions, less contaminants, and the color and size are controlled to meet specific requirements. Imagine having a ruby that's the perfect shade of blood red or a sapphire that mirrors the deepest ocean blue and all this without any unsightly cracks or inclusions. It's not a dream, it's the reality of lab-grown gemstones. Moreover, these stones are also a more ethical and sustainable choice. They require less energy to produce, don't involve any kind of mining or displacement of earth, and are free from the ethical issues that often plague the mining industry. In the world of gemstones, lab-grown stones are shaking things up. They offer an accessible, ethical, and customizable alternative to natural stones. They give us the chance to own a piece of perfection, a gemstone that's exactly as we want it to be, without any compromises. So, to answer the question, why should one consider lab-grown gemstones? Well, why not? They're perfect, they're ethical, and they're here to revolutionize the gemstone industry. In the world of gemstones, perfection is attainable, and it's thanks to lab-grown gems. The terms unheated and untreated are thrown around in the gem world, but what do they really mean? Well, let's delve into the nitty-gritty of gemstone terminology and uncover the mystery. Unheated gemstones, as you might guess, are those that have not been subjected to high temperatures. Now, why does this matter? Well, heating a gemstone can enhance its color, clarity, or even change it entirely. For instance, a pale amethyst can transform into a vibrant citrine with enough heat. Yet an unheated gemstone retains its original hue, a testament to nature's artistry. On the other hand, untreated gems are those that have not undergone any form of modification post-extraction. This means they've not been oiled, filled, dyed, or irradiated. They are, in essence, as nature intended, adding a layer of authenticity and rarity. Now you might wonder, does this apply to lab-grown gems too? Absolutely. While lab-grown gems are created in controlled environments, they can also be heated or treated post-creation to enhance their aesthetics. However, an unheated, untreated lab-grown gem is a marvel in itself, showcasing the finesse of human innovation. So how do these terms impact the gem's value? It's a game of supply and demand. Unheated and untreated gems being relatively rare often command higher prices. But remember, it's not just about rarity. The beauty of a gem, whether heated or unheated, treated or untreated, lies in the eye of the beholder. Some might prefer the intense colors brought about by heating, while others might value the raw, untouched allure of an untreated gem. And let's not forget, every gem, heated or not, treated or not, carries a story. A story of geological marvel or human ingenuity. A story that adds to its charm and value. Whether heated or unheated, treated or untreated, each gemstone holds a unique appeal. It's up to you to decide which story resonates with you, which appeal captures your heart. The rise of lab-grown gemstones is shaking up the market in a big way. This shift is not just a ripple in the pond, but rather a seismic wave reverberating throughout the industry. The traditional market, long dominated by natural stones, is now having to make room for these new players. For centuries, gemstones like rubies, sapphires, and emeralds have been mined from the earth. The rarity of these gems, coupled with the difficulty and expense of extraction, has driven their value sky high. But with the advent of lab-grown gems, this established order is being challenged. Lab-grown gems, often indistinguishable from their natural counterparts to the untrained eye, offer a unique selling proposition. They can be produced with fewer cracks, imperfections, and contaminants. What's more, they can be created in desired sizes and colors, providing a level of customization previously unheard of. This has the potential to drastically reshape the industry. And reshape it has. The market for lab-grown gemstones has grown exponentially in the past few years. 
Consumers are increasingly drawn towards these man-made marbles, not only for their flawless quality and customizable features, but also for their ethical and environmental advantages. Traditional mining practices have long been under scrutiny for their environmental impact and sometimes questionable labor practices. Lab-grown gems, on the other hand, offer a guilt-free alternative that is becoming increasingly popular. This shift is not without its challenges, however. The traditional gemstone market, accustomed to the high prices fetched by rare natural stones, is grappling with the implications of this new, more affordable alternative. There are concerns about market saturation, devaluation, and the potential loss of the allure and mystique that natural gemstones hold. However, it's important to remember that the market is not a zero-sum game. The rise of lab-grown gems does not necessarily signify the downfall of natural stones. Rather, it presents an opportunity for expansion and diversification. There will always be a market for natural gemstones with their unique histories and inherent value. But now, there is also a growing market for lab-grown gems appealing to a different set of values and preferences. In this shifting landscape, one thing is clear. The gemstone market is no longer the exclusive domain of natural stones. Lab-grown gems are carving out their own niche, offering consumers a new choice and challenging traditional norms. This evolution may be uncomfortable for some, but it is also exciting. It signifies progress, innovation, and the democratization of beauty. Ultimately, it is the consumer who benefits with more choices, better quality, and lower prices. The gemstone market is evolving and lab-grown gems are leading the charge. As we look to the future, it's clear that these man-made marvels are here to stay, ready to sparkle alongside their natural counterparts. And in this dazzling new world, there's room for everyone to shine. As we look to the future, the potential of lab-grown gemstones is limitless. Imagine a world where the brilliance and beauty of gemstones are accessible to everyone. The future of gemstones, particularly lab-grown ones, holds an exciting prospect. The boundless potential lies not just in their aesthetic appeal, but also in the technological advancements that make them possible. Lab-grown gemstones are set to revolutionize the jewelry industry with their perfect structure, vibrant colors, and flawless clarity. With further improvements in technology, we can expect these gems to become even more dazzling and diverse. Future advancements might allow us to create gems in shapes and sizes that were previously unimaginable. These gems could also be tailor-made to meet specific needs, offering a level of customization that natural stones simply can't match. In addition to this, lab-grown gemstones could become a vital component in various high-tech applications. For instance, their superior hardness and heat resistance make them perfect candidates for use in cutting tools and heat sinks. And let's not forget their potential role in sustainable energy solutions, such as solar panels and hydrogen fuel cells. The market trends also point towards a bright future for lab-grown gemstones. As consumers become more aware of the environmental and ethical issues surrounding mined gemstones, the demand for lab-grown alternatives is likely to surge. This trend could reshape the gemstone market, making lab-grown gems the new norm. Moreover, the affordability of lab-grown gemstones could democratize the luxury jewelry market, making these stunning pieces accessible to a wider audience. This could lead to a significant shift in consumer behavior and market dynamics. In conclusion, the future of gemstones is not just about their timeless beauty, but also about embracing innovative technologies and sustainable practices. It's about creating a world where everyone can enjoy the sparkle of gems without compromising the well-being of our planet and its inhabitants. With lab-grown gemstones, the future shines brighter than ever. So, as we've seen, the world of gemstones is more than just glitter and sparkle. It's a fascinating blend of natural beauty, scientific innovation and market dynamics. We've journeyed from the mysterious depths of the earth to the cutting-edge laboratories where gemstones like rubies, sapphires and emeralds are born. We've unraveled the science behind lab-grown gemstones, learning how they are created with fewer cracks, imperfections and contaminants. 
Their precision in size and color is unmatched, proving that these treasures are not only beautiful, but also marvels of human innovation. We've also explored the appeal of these lab-grown wonders, their flawless characteristics, coupled with their environmental and ethical advantages, create a compelling case for their growing popularity. And the beauty of it all, you can have a gemstone exactly how you want it, in the color and size that suits you best. Then we dived into the intriguing world of unheated and untreated gems, understanding how these natural processes can influence a gem's color, clarity, and overall value. It's a fascinating aspect that adds another layer to our appreciation of these natural wonders. We've also examined the impact of these lab-grown gems on the market. The potential to shake up an industry that has for centuries relied on natural stones is immense. It's a testament to human ingenuity and a sign of the changing times. So as we wrap up this jewel of a journey, I encourage you to continue learning and exploring the world of gemstones is as vast as it is beautiful, and there's always more to discover. Remember, curiosity is the key that unlocks the door to knowledge. Remember, every gemstone, whether born from the earth or a lab, carries a story. And just like these gems, you too have an immense potential to shine. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more enlightening topics. Keep shining and see you in the next video.